a very brave and heroic story. Brave and heroic? Whose story is it, Natalie? Yeah, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Let me show you the picture. Wow, that's a really nice looking young lady. It looks like he's gonna kill them. This is a great story about St. Theodora and Didymus the Brave. They lived at, in Alexandria at a time where Emperor Diocletian ruled. You know, he ordered a law that all the people that lived there had to worship idols. Why? And what happens if they did not worship the idols? They would get killed. What? Yeah, they would. Can you believe how crazy that king was? And what about Theodora? After that, she, the king heard about her and her Christian family. So he took Theodora and uh -oh. put her in a very, very, very bad house filled with very mean people. And what happened to Theodora, Natalie? Okay, so a very, very non-Christian man wanted to marry her, but she refused because she loved the Lord and she would never marry a non-Christian. And then she was sent to the king and the king asked her, why wouldn't she marry that man and why wouldn't she worship the idols? He said that he would marry her and make her a princess, but she said, no, I will never do that. I will never get married. I'm already a bride of Jesus Christ. And then he sent her to a very, very bad house with very mean people. That must be very scary. Yeah, it was, but she knew that the Lord was with her. And what happened to Theodora in that evil house, Natalie? Did she stay there? She didn't. In fact, a Christian soldier came and switched places with her. So What's she... the name of that soldier, Natalie? His name was Didymus. And you know what happened? He exchanged his soldier clothes with Theodora so she can run away, away from that evil house. But later on, the king found out that the that Theodora and Didymus switched places. Uh-oh. Yeah, so then Theod Didymus had to be killed. Wow, that is very sad. So, like, actually Didymus will be killed in the place of Theodora? Yeah, but do you know, while he was being killed, a golden crown was on his head, and Theodora saw it, and then she ran to Didymus. While Didymus was being killed, Theodora saw a golden crown on his head. Wow. And, yeah, wow. She, she saw that golden crown on his head and said, I want to be just like you. I want to die for Jesus Christ too. And did she get martyred for the sake of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ too? Yeah, she did. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing that she did that instead of Instead of hiding and being scared, she decided to go out for the name of Jesus Christ and be killed. Just like Theodore and Didymus, we want to be just like them and live for Jesus Christ. I hope you enjoyed this. That was a very good story. Yeah. Yeah, I like really it was. too, very much. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Story Behind the Picture. Bye. Bye. Bye.